When it comes to modern build systems, we've got good news and bad news. The bad news is that build systems are starting to become an attack vector for malicious code, injecting itself in different ways as part of the build process itself. As a result, we need to start making a distinction between trusted and untrusted code. And the good news is that all of JetBrain's IDEs that work with build systems or startup tasks, and that includes CLINE, now have this concept baked in. Since potentially untrusted code could be executed even just by opening a project, we now present a project trust dialog before any such code is executed. You can trust this project or preview it in safe mode. In safe mode, some IDE features, such as error highlighting, may be disabled, but you can still passively browse the project. Trusted projects open as before and will continue to be trusted. You can also trust all projects in given folders. As a convenience, the parent folder of the current project is offered right here, so you can set that in one click. But in the settings, under Build Execution Deployment and Trusted Locations, you can add any folders that you wish to keep trusted. Do think carefully before adding locations here. Perhaps even rethinking how you structure your development directories to better sandbox potentially untrusted sources. Another new dialog you may see the first time you open a project, either in CLINE at all, or at least since 2021.1, is the Open Project Wizard. This gives you a chance to configure your build profiles, while CLINE will write out new or updated config files. Don't worry though, they'll still work fine in older versions. If this is the first time you've launched CLINE at all, you'll also get to set up the toolchains. All of these settings continue to be editable at any time in the build settings as before. And on to makefiles. We continue to round out our support for makefile projects. We now bundled the makefile syntax plugin, so you don't have to install that separately. But perhaps more importantly, if you've been looking to work on remote makefile projects, we now have initial support for remote toolchains over SSH. Simply set up a remote toolchain, as you've been able to do for CMake projects for some time, and use that in the makefile profile. You'll see that CLINE syncs all the files you have locally to the remote machine and establishes an SSH connection into it to build, run, and debug over. The first time you switch a project to a remote toolchain, you should go to Tools, Makefile, and select Clean and Reload. And now, building, running, and debugging remotely works just like doing it locally. As this support is new, there are some limitations, so do check the Makefiles page in the docs for full details. There have also been a number of fixes and enhancements to Makefile support in general. For example, with projects with a lot of Make targets, or with the MinGW toolchain and mixed slashes. We have a few CMake updates as well. First, we do usually bump the bundled CMake version, and this release is no exception. We now bundle CMake 3.19. As I record this, CMake 3.20 is out, and so far that seems to work fine with CLINE as well, but it was just a bit too late to have it bundled. Now, in the CMake Profile Settings pane, which we also showed earlier during the Open Project Wizard, is a new Share option. If you check that, CLINE will write out another new config file, CMake.xml. This file can be shared with other users, so it should be committed to your VCS. Any settings specific to a shared profile go in here. But common properties, such as reload CMake project, remain only in workspace.xml. CMake projects usually have the main CMake lists file in the top level directory, but there are some cases where this needs to go in a subdirectory. For those cases, we've long had the ability to change project root. Common cases for this have been when working with Unreal Engine, Qt, or other popular frameworks that generate files into that top level root directory. This can clutter up the project view and even slow it down. So we now collect source files that are outside of the CMake project root into a new external sources node. Remember, as well as CMake and make files, we also have built in support for Gradle and support most other build systems via compilation DB JSON files. 
In this release, we now support use of Clang CL for compilation DB projects, which wasn't previously working. So that's quite a few fixes, enhancements, and new features across the board in our build system support. If you don't already have C-Line, this is a great time to try a 30-day free trial and see how it works for you.